Hi everyone, I'm Lech from Chocofour.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Chocofour Model Manager 1.0. It's a free Blender add-on that helps you adding external assets like 3D models or shaders to your Blender scenes. Uh, the new version of the add-on we've been working on for the past few months introduces many new features such as foldable menus as you can see in the screen right now. Um, custom library paths, which was highly requested by the community. We've also added the, uh, the possibility of creating your own uh, library categories on the fly, so it updates directly inside Blender. And a few minor features, such as cloud update, so you don't no longer need to bother with zip files. So stay tuned with the video, keep watching, and I will show you how it all works. So the add-on installation is pretty standard, you just go to User Preferences and click Install Add-on from File, where you need to select the zip you just downloaded. Just keep in mind, the add-on was meant to be used with official Blender releases, so it installs some external files by itself and it also needs all the files from official Blender release. Uh, right now, as you can see, we have zero objects in the library, because we need to set the path, but we'll do it later. Now I want to show you, you can update the add-on just by clicking this button here. It connects with the cloud and checks if there are new versions available. As you can see, there is one. And after installation, you might need to restart Blender. So we will do it right now and move on to setting up the library path. Once we restart, you'll see this little window in here. So we have to point to our library now, go to user preferences again, type in Choco4 here for quick access, and click this little button here, and point out to your library. I will talk about the library structure in the next part, but for now I will just show you how to install it. So once you point out to your library, three things may happen, it might load, automatically you might maybe need to refresh or most likely you need to restart Blender again. So we will do it right now and the library will be loaded as you can see here. So all the categories are now foldable and in the next step I will show you how to set up the whole library by yourself. Right now, to access your library, just press this button here, which is very useful under Mac, especially when you use the default system path, otherwise it's quite hard to reach. And as you can see, when we create a new folder and change its name, it automatically updates inside Blender as a main category. So I'll add another one, and in Blender, you can see we have those blank spaces here, so we need to create subcategories right now. So it's the same thing, once you add it, it will automatically update inside Blender. So the next step will be adding some models so our library is not that empty. Speaking of models, you can create a free account at store.chocofor.com and download all the freebies we have available there. Models especially, they will preset the categories in your library, so I will be also using them as an example in the next step. As you can see, my library already has some models loaded, so I will have to switch to the one which is more empty. And as you can see, we already have the zip files from the store downloaded here. These are the free assets I mentioned. So now we open the library and start unzipping the files. Each zip file contains the entire main category plus subcategories plus the models in each subcategory. So you can see that updating in Blender, sometimes not all the categories appear when you use the zip files. So to um, so to clean that up, you either need to restart Blender or just manually create any category. 
as you can see we are unzipping the materials now so there is a new main category appearing with the subcategories and materials inside on the left you see the zip files also like messed up the manager a little bit so if we delete them it should be all back to the clean state and you can see all the models and subcategories are now in blender directly If you don't want to download the entire model bundles, you can of course use the single models as well. In that case, we will use the free cars. And you can see if we move them directly into the library, they mess up the manager a little bit. So we'll create the vehicles folder as a main category and move the zip files there. As you can see, we have nothing here so far. But if we unzip the files directly into the main category, it will create subcategories based on those two obj and render folders and this is not what we want right so that's why we have to create the cars as a subcategory and move all the content there so now you can see blender updates automatically and we can access the models directly from blender now Chaco4 Model Manager also supports custom models you might have in your library. So how to add them I will show you right now by creating this custom category. So you can see it's already here. And now I navigate inside to create the subcategory where I will add the model. So you can see it already updated. And this is the file structure you should keep uh, with your custom models. So in each subcategory, you need a separate renders and maps folders. And this will contain the data. The blend file of the model has to be put directly into the subcategory. As you can see, it's still not updated. And you need a render, which is named exactly the same as the blend file in the renders folder. Unfortunately, sometimes Blender can freeze on that point so you need to restart it again and after the restart it will work fine so as you can see we have the model already here and we can add it to the scene just by clicking the button the problem you might face is this uh, color tint and that that's the indication your texture is missing so you need to put it into the maps folder Speaking of textures, I will now show you how to prepare all the files for the model manager. Uh, starting with blend file, you have to remember the manager will import everything that's inside your blender file. So check the outliner if you have only the models you want to be imported. And the second thing are the textures which have to be set as relative. So first check if the texture is present in your blender file and go to the options here and set the path to relative. Remember to keep the texture in the maps folder before you move them to the manager directory and don't forget to save the file. Last but not least are the add-on settings which aren't too many as you can see but I will show how they work on those car models. So you can now add the objects either in the scene center or at the 3D cursor as this car for example and you can now also link objects to the scene instead of appending them meaning the f your project file sizes will be smaller but the objects will be locked for editing and to edit them you have to make them local and save into your project file So that's it for this video. I really hope it was informative and that you will find our model manager and Choco4 models useful in your Blender work. Uh, in case you have any questions, be sure to check the main Choco4.com website where we have the full uh, written documentation of the add-on. Also, you can download it from there. 
then link will be added to the description. Thanks for watching, subscribe and leave a like under this video if you really liked it and see you next time.